Welcome back, Cougs. We hope you had a great spring break. There's been a lot of chatter about March Madness. We'll tell you more coming up next. Broadcasting studios on the campus of Washington State University. This is Murrow News 8. Hello, I'm Morgan White. And I'm Gunnar Miller. You're watching Murrow News 8. The WCU men's basketball team earned this number seven seed in the East region and will face number 10 Drake Thursday night at 7.05 p.m. in Omaha, Nebraska in the first round announced yesterday afternoon. WCU earned its first bid to the NCAA tournament since 2008 and the Pullman faithful showed their excitement. Find the seven seed is Washington State in the tournament for the first time since 2008. Kyle Smith's done a phenomenal job out there, and they're feeling good. They've had an excellent year. This is a team very disciplined, outstanding backcourt. Will be a tough out. Who will they face? The Drake Bulldogs. With excitement growing on the Palouse to see if their team playing in the tournament, many students shared their thoughts and reactions with the Kooks playing in March Madness. So for March Madness, I definitely want to go to some games. You know, I want to see the Cougs, you know, whether they fail or succeed. I want to I want to see them in action just because, you know, it's my first year here and I want to make sure I'm part of the, the culture and stuff. March Madness, probably just going to hit the Coug, get a couple drinks with the boys, hopefully watch, uh, watch the Cougars go dancing, you know what I'm saying? See a good run this year, keep it going. I guarantee that we will win the East region. Cougs will make it all the way to the, the finals, right? All the way. If the Cougs beat Drake, they will advance to the second round and will face off against Iowa State or South Dakota State. March Madness is back in Spokane at Spokane Veterans Memorial Arena. They are set to host the first and second rounds of the NCAA Division I men's and women's basketball tournament. The games will host two sessions for men's basketball in the first round on March 22nd of the first round that will feature UAB, San Diego State, and Yale versus Auburn in the first session. Then in the second session later that evening, Charleston versus Alabama, Grand Canyon versus St. Mary's. Then for women's basketball, the women's basketball tournament in Spokane Arena will have one session on March 23rd that will showcase Utah versus South Dakota and Gonzaga versus UC Irvine. The Society of Women Engineers and the Association of Women in STEM will be hosting multi event, multiple events to honor women in STEM. The event used to be annual, but due to COVID has not resumed since 2019. Now they are trying to get it back up and running. All events in the series are free admission and students who are interested can go to their page on Handshake to register for the dinner on Thursday, where students have the opportunity to network and talk to industry professionals. There is a new kiosk on campus allowing students to have easy access to emergency contraception and other health products. The wellness kiosk is located on the ground floor of the Cub and is accessible to anyone. At ASWSU and Cougar Health Services work together to bring this kiosk to campus. All of the products come from Simply Check, a female-owned company from Coeur d'Alene. Graduation is rapidly approaching as we are already in week 10. If you are a senior, make sure to stop by the grad fair this week. You can stop by the bookie in the Cub tomorrow or Wednesday from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Students will be able to register to participate in the spring ceremony, rent regalia, and get their photos done and more. Well, it's really nice and sunny out today. We'll see if this weather will be keeping up after the break. One in three adults has pre-diabetes. One in three. That means it could be you, your favorite brother, your other brother, you, your football buddy, your football buddy, you, the boss, the boss's boss. If one in three adults has pre-diabetes, that means it could be you, your barber, your barber's barber. Nice work. Thanks. Thanks. You. Your plumber. Breathe right into your foot. Your plumber's masseuse. Yes. You, your dog walker. On your left. Your cat jogger. Or you, your co pilot. Your co pilot's co pilot. While one in three adults has pre diabetes with early diagnosis, pre diabetes can be reversed. 
Take the risk test at doihaveprediabetes.org to know where you stand. Well, I sure wish I was outside. Luckily, we have our live reporter, Lena, outside today. How's it going out there, Lena? It is a really great day out here on Thompson Flats. As you can see, people are hanging out, napping, enjoying this warm weather. My phone says it's about 67, but I would say it feels a lot warmer. As you can see, people are in their t-shirts and tank tops. Spring is coming tomorrow, and it definitely feels like it. I'm hoping this warm weather will continue. Lannon, what can we expect moving forward? when I finish up my stuff today, um, but it looks like tomorrow's gonna be pretty similar. If you can't make it outside, um, tomorrow's gonna be about 67. You know, the low is a bit cold, so you know, if you're going out at night, make sure you have a jacket. But you know, across the state, um, it's looking super nice right now. Over in Olympia in Seattle, it's the mid 60s. I you know, I really, really wish that it was so warm right now. Um, but you know, it's, it's kind of the weather that I'm really wanting in Yakima and the Tri-Cities. Um, so like the mid 70s right there. I cannot wait. It's gonna be so nice when we have that nice weather out over in Spokane It's just a bit warmer than us in Pullman. They have about 70 degrees for their high about 40 for their low That's pretty similar to us We've got about 69 for our high and about 36 for our low today But um, if we look to the five-day forecast um, Today tomorrow and Wednesday are looking super nice But I will say Wednesday or sorry Thursday Friday and Saturday aren't looking too good There's gonna be some rain make sure you have your rain jacket, but you know, thank you so much and back to you guys at the desk Thanks, Landon. It seems like basketball and baseball is all anyone is talking about. Coming up next, we will have more with Cougar Sports. WSU Baseball is starting their five-game homestand at Bailey Brayton Field on Tuesday with their game against Seattle U. The Cougars are coming into the game after a series loss to UCLA. The Bruins won the first game of the series on Friday, but the Cougars came back to tie the series on Saturday 12-5. WSU was hoping to win their first series at UCLA since 2002, but the Bruins walked away victorious, winning on Sunday 9-4. Coming up, baseball has two games against Seattle U and then three games against Arizona State. Continuing with baseball, Major League Opening Day is in 10 days, but you might notice some changes with the start of the season. Gunnar Miller has more. Spring training has remained the same for players for many years to get reps before the season, but this year the players will have a new look. The MLB changing their jerseys and has changed the entire landscape on how jerseys will be produced by all sports in the next coming years. With baseball fans' outcries over these changes, Oakland Athletics first baseman Ryan Noda has similar feelings. I think that the old jerseys are still the best, uh, unfortunately for fanatics. Hopefully they can make some changes and listen to some of the things that they asked us about. Um, four changes and we can just keep going from there and hopefully the jerseys can get back to me you know, feeling like big league jerseys. For Colorado Rockies pitcher Lucas Gilbreth, he believes that the change for the MLB to switch jersey brand and material is a good one. Yeah, I think it's always interesting, especially um, there's a lot of complaints every year, right? No matter what they do, I don't think the majority is happy just because that's how guys are. But at the same time, I think they tried to go for a little bit more comfortability, maybe a little lighter weight. At the same time, we're seeing some other issues obviously arising with that, but 
I think at the same time, they make so many adjustments even throughout the season. I'm sure they'll figure it out pretty quickly. Despite himself not minding the new jerseys, Oakland Athletics third baseman Abraham Toro says the change has created miscommunication between the MLB and its players. We want to know what they're doing with the money or, or the endorsements. or It's something that I feel like players sometimes it, we are not really informed. And maybe if you're going to do something, you should inform the players because we're the ones wearing the jerseys. Whether the players like these changes in jerseys or not, these jerseys will highlight the players in the MLB for years to come. I'm Gunnar Scott Miller reporting from Scottsdale, Arizona. Washington State women's basketball earned a number one seed in the inaugural 2024 Women's Basketball Invitation Tournament. The Cougars will host number eight Lamar on Thursday, March 21st at Beasley Coliseum. Tip-off time will be at 6 p.m. Prelim games will be televised on ESPN+, Plus, while the semifinals will be on ESPNU, and the finals will be on ESPN2. Yesterday was Selection Sunday, and the WSU men's basketball team has received the number 7 seed in the East region and are set to take on number 10 seed Drake in Omaha, Nebraska. Drake is champions of the Missouri Valley Conference, the, and they hold a record of 28-6 this season and are going into their third NCAA tournament in four years. The game is on Thursday at 7 p.m., and the winner will take on the winner of number 2 Iowa State versus number 15 South Dakota State. Well, it's getting to that time of year where it is time to start applying for jobs. Coming up next, we'll let you know what some of our plans are. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I've already applied to so many jobs. I think I'm hitting the 40 range for how many jobs I applied over spring break just alone. I don't know how many total, but it's been a hard process nonetheless. Oh, that's for sure. I know I've just decided that I'm going to take a gap year, so you know I have a next year to apply for jobs, so it's going to be much easier for me, but I don't know about you guys. What do you think? I'm definitely in the you know networking phase, kind of figuring things out still, but it's kind of getting down to crunch time, so... Yeah, got to start figuring that out. <laughs> I'm staying in Pullman, so my job location area is quite small. But I'm hoping there will be some more opportunities in the area, and, you know, we'll see. I love Murrow College. Who doesn't? Um, so I'll probably try to find a job within our university. Yeah. But well, sorry. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, I mean, it's going to be so fun. I mean, if we can't find a job now, I know we might be able to with the Murrow Symposium. It's coming up in a week or two. Mm -hmm. That one is a really good time to network. Um, I know I'm probably going to be doing that, but what about you guys? Yeah, for sure. I think the Murrow Symposium, now that I'm a senior, has just become that much more important for all of us as students just to get our names out there, get our resumes out there to the professionals mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Yeah, definitely. I'm excited to go. So. Well, I'm going to be in the Murrow Symposium, so you should stop by the student showcases. We all have a lot to say, students who are in the Murrow Symposium. I'm sure it'll be really great. There's so many different options, so, yeah. It's going to be pretty fun. I'm really excited for it. Mm -hmm. Also, Gunnar, I think you should be excited about the 40 oh. Have a good night. 